have reached Oslo after a 7 hour scenic bus ride from Stockholm. It's already evening now so we are heading out to find a place for dinner and what better place than the centrum basically it's the center of oslo with all the good things nice places to see nice food to eat so let me show you around such a nice beautiful walk in the center of the city you should definitely come here once if you are in oslo now we are heading back to our hotel and tomorrow morning we are going to start the tour of oslo so stay tuned with us the next morning good morning so before heading out let me show you around the breakfast buffet of the Oslo's Radisson Blu Hotel. This is a continental breakfast with limited options for vegetarians. But do not worry, you will definitely not go hungry. This breakfast is included in our booking price but for me it was pretty average. Now we are finally heading to explore the city so today is going to be filled with history, culture and good times. First stop is the Fram Museum. Here we stepped into the captivating world of polar exploration. Fram is the strongest wooden ship ever built and still holds the records for sailing farthest north and farthest south. Could suddenly appear here, quite a distance, and then he supposed that a very strong ocean current <coughs> that way, starting from No Siberian Island, then <coughs> along Greenland. not a fan of museums this place is so fascinating that you will be engaged here in everything you see it's similar to the vasa museum in stockholm exploring the decks as the waves crash around you is such a great touch and really adds to the overall experience There's a lot more interesting stories about how they managed to survive in extreme conditions and they have made it so fun here you will actually feel like you are the part of the story
little way out of the main city but it's well worth making the trip. We are on a 10 days Europe trip with a travel agency so everything is arranged for us but it is so easy to come here using public transport. Next we are heading to Wiggeland Sculpture Park. It's the world's largest sculpture park made by a single artist and is Norway's one of the most popular attractions. The park is big, no doubt, so it's a bit of a walk before you come to the first of the main sculpture. The expression of each sculpture is amazing. Some of them are poses of daily lives of mother playing with child, father playing with their children, etc. We did not stay here for too long because it was a bit crowded and hot. If you want to spend some extra time here, come in the morning or you can skip it if you are not an art lover. going to the Karl Johans gate which is the one stop if you want to experience the city life both in the day and night. I am going to give you a walking tour since it is also filled with numerous important places I am also going to let you know as we pass by them. It's 27 degrees Celsius. It's very hot. But it's nice when you are in shade. There's a fountain. Let me show you the fountain. Oh, this ducks. Mostly there are seagulls here. That's
we had lots of fun and now we are hopping back on our bus to reach Elo where we are going to start the most awaited Norway in a nutshell tour which will take us through all the beautiful mountains, valleys and fjords of Norway. So trust me when I say this, you just can't miss that. So stay tuned because it is going to be breathtaking. See you in the next vlog. Bye.